Israel is the heart of the Jewish people. And what you have to do is sustain that heart with the internal heart of the Jewish spirit, the Jewish love, the Jewish faith. And this is what the mitzvah tanks do. I was five years a soldier in the Israeli army. And I remember when Chabad came, it lifted my spirits, the spirits of my soldiers, my fellow officers. And this task of raising the heart of the Jewish people is the most noble, the most important, the critical task that we face today. Because the most vital organ of any army is its heart. And a Jewish heart, helped by the mitzvah tanks, is one of the best and most beautiful things that the Jewish people have today. An unarmed, mobile trailer camper blaring out Hasidic songs through a loudspeaker. It's the last thing you'd expect to see during the thick of battle in the treacherous hills. A battalion of these most civilian of vehicles could be seen rumbling through the hostile countryside alongside Israeli tanks, artillery, jeeps, and half-tracks. These are the Chabad mitzvah tanks, manned by fearless young rabbis of the mobile mitzvah centers, these men are charged with the crucial job of providing encouragement, moral support, and a moment of prayer to the defenders of Israel. The name tank was given to these gaudy mobile trailers by the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Menachem Schneerson. Perhaps because in its mobility and power to enter into almost any territory, it resembles the real tanks of Tzahal. The mitzvah tank, of course, doesn't shoot shells of destruction. Rather, it sets off explosions of Ahavat Yisrael, unbounding love for a fellow Jew. That is hard to resist, even for those who know nothing about Judaism. Regarding tanks, it is always wise to hear from experts, and one of the most prominent in Israel today is Brigadier General Yossi ben Hanan, commander of the Armored Corps and one of the key officers behind the famous Merkava tank project. This is how he compares the Chabad mobile mitzvah centers with the tanks of Tzahal. Well, as you know, those are quite different tanks. Uh, their weapon system is not a uh, gun, their munition is not uh, projectiles, but I suggest that uh, those tanks, those mitzvah tanks, do have a very decisive weapon, which is the spirit of Israel. And with that tremendous secret weapon of our nation, those tanks arrive on the battlefield, which is everywhere when this message has to be brought, and they bombard those targets with the right kind of munition which is the heritage and tradition of our nation. The mitzvah tank is, in effect, a combined library, lunchroom, classroom, and synagogue on wheels, complete with audiovisual and Jewish educational aids, and even a radio link to headquarters in Natseret Elite. <laughs> אבא, אמא וילד. לילד קראו מוישלה. עכשיו, מוישלה הזה, מוישלה הזה נולד אילם. אתם יודעים מה זה אילם? אילם זה אחד שהוא לא יכול לדבר. וההורים שלו, הם לקחו אותו לרופאים הכי הכי מפורסמים ברוסיה, אבל אף אחד לא... The many activities of the mobile mitzvah center with the Israeli army, however important they may be, represent only a small portion of the total operation. Most of the time and energy of the Chabad tankers is actually devoted to campaigns and enrichment courses in Judaism for the civilian population, particularly the youth in the kibbutz, the moshav, and the development town throughout the length and breadth of Israel. 